Malawi. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy Tuesday, beautiful morning. Cause you blow the pieces back together. I haven't done a YouTube intro or our YouTube intro in a very, very long time. I think the last time I posted a vlog or published a vlog for you guys was how many days ago? I don't even remember. And I know that I have been missing in action for the last three to four days. And yes, as per the title of this video, I'm pretty sure you guys know as to what I'm about to tell you. But besides that, of course, I also want to tell you the reason as to why I've decided to take a break from YouTube. And for me, it's a pretty much valid reason. You guys know that I love putting out contents for you guys, whether it be vlogs, whether it be sit downs, I love it and I love what I do. It's just that I've really come to the point where I just can't anymore. And it's not going to be a permanent thing, obviously. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break from YouTube because I have to work on myself. I have to work on my mental health because for the past week, I guess it hasn't been easy for me. So if you've been following me, you guys know that I'm pregnant. Yes, I'm still pregnant. Currently 36 weeks and six days. So tomorrow we turn full term, I guess. 37 weeks, can we count that as full term? They say that it's still an early term, but people or women can actually give birth and it's still, you know, it's counted as a healthy pregnancy. And we are very excited, me and my husband, Marco, we're really excited and we just cannot wait. We're just really counting down the days as to when baby C is going to come out. I have the feeling around maybe the second or third week of February. And just to remind you guys, my due date is on the 24th of February. But then keep in mind that this is not my first pregnancy, so he may come out a little bit early, earlier, but I guess we will see. So where do I begin? Um, it has been quite of a struggle for me. I guess that's the reason why I haven't been uploading vlogs. Like, I haven't literally been vlogging. It's not that, you know, I have videos to edit because sometimes, you know, I do, I keep videos and then I edit them. But no, I don't have any vlogs. I don't have any videos. I've just really taken a break and I know that this video should have been something that I should have published before, you know, kind of going on a break because I've already been missing in action. And that's something that I don't want to do anymore. Before I would just kind of disappear and not even tell you guys as to what's happening. But since we have been really consistent in uploading videos and vlogs and you know I've been updating you guys in regards to my pregnancy journey. I feel that I owe it to you if I decide to take a break and so we are going to talk about that in today's video. But I don't want to cause any panic guys. Overall I am doing pretty good. This pregnancy has been really great. As you guys can see I am still alive and kicking and I can still put a smile on my face. It's just that there was a time I guess last week where I felt extremely down and I know that it's not just the pregnancy hormones because it had to do with my mental health and I just realized how important it is to work on yourself. And you guys may wonder, but why take a break from YouTube if you're just putting out content? Being a YouTuber, let's say even if I have a small channel, it's not an easy thing to do. Like editing itself can take about half a day, it depends on how you edit because I edit pretty slow and I guess I'm editing slower than usual because of my, you know, my situation. And then on top of that, you also have to think of the title. You have to also think as to what the content is about. Being a lifestyle blogger is a totally different thing than, for example, Marco. He puts out his guitar music so he can come up with something right on the spot, put out his music, and he knows what that video will be about. As a lifestyle vlogger, you kind of have to think of what the content is about at the end of the video. So it would really depend what happens in our day. I know that might be confusing for some of you, especially if you don't know how, you know, being a vlogger works or how YouTube works. Yes, it can cause anxiety and can cause stress. And so that is something that I wanted to kind of keep off of my shoulder, especially during the last stretch of my pregnancy. So as I mentioned, guys, last week was a bit of a struggle for me. Physically, I am good. You know, pregnancy-wise, I'm good. It's more of the mental state, mental health state. I don't know how you guys can word it. The last part of this pregnancy has definitely been a roller coaster ride for me. I've been telling you guys that in my previous videos and my pregnancy update. And I just didn't expect expect that you know my mental health would be affected as well. So when I say mental health, I am talking about how I think, 
how I have been sleeping, how I have been feeling. There's no one to blame for this. It's definitely not the pregnancy hormone, so we are not gonna blame baby C for this. We are not gonna blame my husband for this because he has been the most supportive guy that I have ever met. He has been very supportive in his pregnancy. But if there was someone, I guess, that we can blame for the situation or the feelings I felt, it would definitely be me. I felt like I became my own enemy. And I just felt that since then, all the thoughts going through my head has always been something negative. It's not me, that's not who I am. So I knew that there was something wrong. I felt like I was really like losing my mind. But I came to the point where due to the stress, my immune system was compromised. So I started feeling horrible and I just didn't feel like myself anymore. So when this happened, I said to myself, you know, I'm just gonna take a break from YouTube and I'm just gonna slowly work on myself because I know that's what I need to do. I knew for myself that no one could fix it but me. And if you guys don't know, the third trimester is where usually your immune system is the lowest compared to, I guess, the first and second trimester because this is where, you know, your baby completes itself and that's where your body needs to be the strongest but when you're going through so much when you're going through stress and anxiety and all that your immune system will definitely fail and i guess that's what happened to me because i was focusing just on all the negative things though nothing was happening bad to us i mean baby c were healthy me and Marco were healthy, nothing bad is happening to us, but it was just really all in my mind. I think the reason or how I got into this situation is because of the pandemic. I know that I focus too much on how the situation will be at the clinic because I know <laughs> that people won't be able to speak in English. I got scared how I'll be able to handle things on my own. I got scared that people will not understand me and I got scared that I won't be able to express myself, especially, you know, when you're having contractions. So, so many things went through my mind all in one week. All I could think of was just the negative things. Like, I couldn't even see or feel anymore the joy of being pregnant. Like, I was so sick and tired of it. Like, I, didn't, like, I, I just didn't want to go through it anymore, you know, like, let's get it over with. It has definitely caused a mental breakdown because there were days where I would just cry, you know, just cry because of the situation, because of feeling sorry for myself. Cry just thinking of what could happen. I don't know if Marco knows this because usually I don't let him see me crying. But there was a time where I told him what's been going on in my mind and what I've been feeling. Somehow it made me feel better, of course. You know, when you talk to someone about it, it does make you feel better. But that wasn't enough. You know, the day after, I'm back in my own situation and that's when I realized that I have to work on myself. I have to work on how I think. I have to work on how I feel because no one will be able to fix it but myself. You guys know that I love putting out videos. I have, you know, a lot of content in mind. I still have to do the hospital bag. I still have to show you some of baby C's things that we receive. I also need a break <laughs> because I feel that it's no longer me. Like, I just don't feel myself. And I've already started, guys. Like, ever since I stopped uploading videos, that's when I started, you know, just focusing on myself. And when I say focus on myself, it's just really taking time, taking things slow, and not pondering too much on the negative things. Ever since I stopped uploading videos for you guys, I think that was like last week. So it's been a few days. I noticed a big improvement already because I can sleep better now. Like pregnancy insomnia is a thing. But last week there were nights where I would just wake up, stare into space and start thinking of the negative things again. Then I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. And then I would wake up grumpy. Then I would start thinking negative things again. So it's all just went in a big circle. It just went round and round and round. But now I do feel a lot better. I can see the big improvement because I have definitely been taking some time off. I know it's only been a few days but I can already see a big improvement which I am really really happy about. So this break is obviously it's not going to be a permanent thing because you guys know that I love YouTube and I love putting out content for you guys. I don't know how long it will be. Maybe give it a week, maybe give it two weeks. I don't know. I don't know if I'll still be pregnant when, you know, I get back to you guys. But I just need this time to really work on myself mentally. I feel that a lot of people know about postpartum depression, but don't pay much attention to prepartum depression, which is also a thing. So if you are pregnant, you know, we can go through depression even you know, before giving birth, and that's called prepartum depression. I feel that it's really important to work on yourself if you have come to this point, this prepartum depression stage, or even postpartum depression, because mental health is it's just really an important thing. You know, it's 
how we think, it's how we feel and how we act towards, towards life. So if that's something that gets taken away from you, if that's something that fails, the only person that can help you is yourself. I know that there are a lot of people, women, men going through this. So you may ask how I coped with it. One of the main thing that I did was to just really focus on myself and no one knows how to do that but you and if you are someone pregnant what you can do and what i've stopped doing i guess <laughs> a little bit slowly is to try not to research in so many things because that is one thing that gave me big anxiety knowing what could happen during childbirth what are the negative things that can happen during labor so i feel that the less you know the better try to lessen on your research as well because i'm pretty sure everything will go well and that's just something that you really need to focus on that you know you deliver your your baby healthy and that you and the baby are healthy that's the most important thing for me like i know that i'm healthy and i know that my baby is healthy like there's nothing wrong so why am i even focusing on this and so that's it guys i don't know how long this video is but i will end it here i cannot wait to vlog again and if there's anything that will happen you know i can still film it it's not like you know i can't film obviously i can still film but it's more of the editing and putting it out and publishing it that will take a break from so thank you guys for watching this video once again i am still or i will still be active on my instagram if you want to keep up with me thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you on the next one goodbye for now